Okay. Um, some of you probably have also heard of the model view presenter pattern. And this pattern was actually really popular in the .NET space with WinForms. And it was also gained some popularity with WebForms. Those frameworks just invert, created the view first. There was no way around it. The, the framework itself created the view first. And so model view presenter allowed a method to where right at the beginning, before the view really did anything, it created a presenter class and then delegated to the presenter class all of its events so that the presenter could then um, make all the decisions. And that does, that did allow the industry, and I did a lot of model view presenter um, uh, pattern with web forms and, and WIM forms as, as well. That pattern allowed the separation, but the view object made it to the call stack before the presenter object. So the scenarios where the presenter looked at something and said, oh, I want to use a different view. Well, too bad, because you were kind of owned by the view that constructed you. All right. Um, and uh, actually, some of you probably also heard of MVVM, model view view model, uh, which had some popularity with uh, WPF and um, Xamarin. MVVM is very similar to model view presenter in the fact that the view gets on the call stack first and then delegates to another class in that pattern called the view model, which made the decision. So in, in, in my view, it's kind of the same pattern. It ended up with two names because uh, presenter is kind of synonymous with view model. When I look at how each one was implemented and which one came first and which one got onto the call stack first versus second, presenter and view model have the same characteristics if you just look at them. Um, so a lot of similarities there. All right, I just talked about that. Um, yeah, very popular in Xamarin. I included that URL there. 